Welcome guys, it's Brian from Brian's Aquatics. Uh, good Wednesday morning to you guys. Uh, I'm slightly tired, so if it sounds like I'm a little groggy, I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to give you an update on the fancy guppy tank and all the fry and snails that I have in there. Let's go, 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 go. Okay guys, I'm back. Alright, so that's one of my male fancy guppies up there on the top left corner. I uh, got a lot, a lot of fry up here if you can't see them. A lot. Uh, gets uh, quite a bit of java moss there. I've been pulling from that bunch to put it in that tank. Which I gotta fix up. Look at all those snails. But back to the 10 gallon fancy guppy tank. Sorry if it's shaky. I'm free handing this. There's another male fancy guppy. I'm not sure what type he is. He's got that orange and speckled tail. Um, then that's some of my more juvenile fry. I have all different types of sizes in here. Uh, snails galore in here. I have two smaller hyphen plecos. Actually only one hyphen plico in here now. Which he's sitting way in the back corner. Um, and I put the other high fin pleco in the 55 gallon with the Africans. So that's that. There's one of the females looking ready like she's going to burst. There's another female being chased by that orange and speckled tail. But I, uh, I did a water change on this tank yesterday. Sorry if it looks a little dark in there. I put an LED light in there put way more light so it doesn't look so dark. That's this from the tannins from that, um, uh, what you might call it, the uh, driftwood right there. Even though I boiled that piece of driftwood to try and get most of the tannins out, it still clouds up the water. No big deal. I'm not worried about it. The fish aren't worried about it. I think it gives a cool effect. So yeah, you can see all those little, looks like daubs or whatever those are new snails that have been deposited so I got a lot of snails going on in both tanks I, I'm just slowly moving them into my 125 most of the snails end up in my sump which is okay because still everything filters through there um, so that's that let me get a better angle for you guys okay guys here's the front looking on of the tank excuse me um, so there's one of the females, got some nice color in her fin. There I got a male chasing one of the other females. Sorry, you can see it into the back tank because I took the little background off of it. Just to let some more of that uh, light from above from the other one, the grow light, hit get in here. This a better picture of all the java moss, kind of looks dirty. I have to replant that grass or whatever plant that is. So if you can ID that, I'm not sure what it is. I gotta get that back in the substrate. I got a lot of water wisteria here. A lot of snails. Man, that blue male just does not like leaving the females alone. Um, in this tank I have four females. Fancy guppies, two males. I think I got some more males in there though. At this point, um, the smaller sizes, uh, yeah, so you can see all the little fry swimming around the java moss. This fry all over this tank. There's the female beta in the far back corner of the other 10 gallon tank. Um, let me see. Alright, I'm going to zoom out. Uh, one more. So, yeah, that's pretty much that tank, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I have, Like I said, I put the LED in this cover, which worked great. So I'm just going to get another one, and that'll brighten up this other corner. Or I might just leave it, because the other, um, it's not a CFL, but, you know, like the standard round lights that come with it, they were old. They've been there for like four or five years from when I was uh, at my parents' house, so while I was in college. So... Yeah, as you can see, 
I haven't really been vacuuming the bottom so much of this tank, just for the sheer principle. I know the grasses right there, or whatever they are, I'm assuming they're grasses, to me they look like a grass. So if you can ID those, the tall plants, the two of them, let me know, because then I can better um, figure out how I'm going to clean the bottom of this tank, because I got a lot of mulm building up. Um, I check this every two or three days, usually three days, twice a week. Um, all my tanks I check twice a week for pH, um, ammonia, nitrite, nitrates, and this is pretty much zero. Um, there is a little bit of, uh, I think it's nitrite, which is the ending one, if I remember correctly, don't quote me. Um, so that's always, you know, there's always a little bit of nit uh I think nitrite or nitrate, whichever ones that it's more available for the um, plants to use. So I also fertilize these tanks quite often, at least the planted ones, you know, two, three times a week. That's why I can't wait. I thought I was going to have my order come in yesterday from Aquarium Co-op, but it got delayed. Not my fault, but the post office said it'll be delivered today because I called them. This got too late in the day for him to deliver. So, yeah. That's okay, though. I'll get it today. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, please let me know. Um, when it warms up a little bit more, if people are looking for snails, I'll be sure to send some... Uh, I'll be willing to send some snails out. You just cover some shipping. We can talk about that, but... Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, there we go. I just turn the light on. Okay. Um, let me know what you guys think. I don't know how many fry and guppies I have in this tank at this point. That's why I change the water two to three times a week. So, yeah. I think that's it, guys, for this tank. Let me see if I can't get some of the fry. There's really, really tiny fry in that Java f moss. Sorry if I'm shaking, I'm trying to keep pretty steady. I did clean the glasses, this... Sorry for the glare. I mean, you can tell the difference. That's a brand new LED, like, you know, rated to 60 watts, but it only takes like 12 or something, or 10 or whatever. So, yeah. And if you can ID this blue guppy right there I'd be the male guppy it's kind of like a split fin or split tail blue guppy it's slowly starting to grow out so I don't know if that's a birth defect when you know I got it from PetSmart what I don't know coming from their supplier don't know but look at all those little fry up at the top that female seems to be doing okay I think she's just hiding out up there because the males are more focused mid to bottom of the tank chasing the females so it looks like she's gonna give birth anytime soon so yeah all right guys please comment subscribe smash that like a uh, smash that like button let me know what you think the good the bad the ugly what you would like me to do with this tank if you think I should change it around let me know all right take it easy have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next episode